looking at me like you like me. You're all cute and stuff. Oh, sorry. I'll be more true to life. Welcome to Most Important Meal. Uh, we're doing a vlog. Wow. <laughs> Who the funk we're gonna do this? So we are doing some curious AeroPress experiments. Uh, curious AeroPress experiments. Espresso experiments, if you will. Aerosperiments. <laughs> Uh, so we found a YouTube video that describes true espresso from an AeroPress. I truly don't believe that's possible, but the method that they described, we'll put that video down below in the description. Uh, here's an AeroPress. It's all filled with coffee Wait, and a filter. Oh, got a nice little hat. Yes. We got uh, our nice AeroPress hat, and what we're gonna do is uh, we put another filter on top of it, which is kind of blowing my mind the way that they described it in the other video, but that separates the water and the grounds and makes the pressure from pressing down on the AeroPress do all of the work and make it more like espresso rather than really, really strong, really nice drip coffee. So we're gonna give that a shot. I'm really skeptical. Truge, do you like espresso? I hate espresso. So we're going to... <laughs> We're gonna try it two ways. One of the ways is like just a person that likes espresso. And then one of the ways, oh, this is so Zoom. I'm literally just gonna like put it on top of some ice. And make it a what, Truch? An iced Americano? Good, you know your espresso drinks. Let's give that a shot. Uh, we're gonna give this a shot. And by shot, I mean espresso shot. This is the freaking ceramic kettle I used on the episode the other day. Uh, without a gooseneck kettle, uh, or gooseneck on the kettle, which was uh, very difficult to pour. A gooseneck kettle is... But look at how cool it looks. It's really, really cool. I love how it looks, and it makes really, really good hot water. It matches the... <laughs> it matches the crushed red pepper flakes. That we use to tamp down the extra filter. Um, oh yeah, like... It oh. fits surprisingly well. <laughs> Everyone screenshot this and uh, talk about the weird way I'm making coffee. That'll be our clickbaity thumbnail. I'm very intrigued to see if this works because honestly, uh, they initially marketed it as a uh, espresso maker and that's not true at all. It makes really, really good, really, really strong drip coffee. The AeroPress is such an amazing way to make coffee because it's so versatile. You have so much control over any single element you want, the grind size, the temperature, the brew length, whether it's inverted or not, the pressure, uh, any single little thing you don't like about it, you can change with your next brew. And honestly, it's just so much fun to make this that you can make as many as you want. <laughs> Earlier today, I showed Allison how to make a, a cup of AeroPress and she thought it was really, really fun, didn't you? I did, it was very fun. What, what what do you think of it? Um, I like, I kind of went into, into it thinking that it was gonna be a really, really like difficult process and it ended up being surprisingly simple. And that's really saying a lot when you're talking about My favorite word you used to describe it was therapeutic. Oh yeah, no, it was like, it was like self-care. It's like <laughs> therapy, like a ritual. <laughs> Coffee therapy. Yeah. So our water's boiling, and as per the episode we released the other day, I have to use an oven mitt while making coffee, which is really weird. All right, I'm curious to see what happens here because I'm gonna fill it up to about here and this extra filter on top should make it such that it's not quite infusing yet. It's kind of separated so that we do all the brewing work with the pressure later. Let's give it a shot. Yay. This water is almost clear. That's so weird. Yeah, that's so weird. All right. That's where the coffee is and none of it's coming out the bottom. All right. Or the other part of the air press. Here it is. You ready for this? Yes. Describe the pressure with which you're pressing. Uh, real true espresso should be about eight bars. Oh, that's definitely what I meant. It's Use like, poetry to describe how hard you're pressing. Is eight bars not poetic enough for you? Uh, not even close. Okay, so the pressure is a lot higher for some reason. I'm guessing it's the extra filter, but I honestly wouldn't know. Look oh, at those bubbles. That is a satisfying noise. Yep, look at the bubbles at the bu Oh, no, they're gone. In the video that the guy did, there was crema or some kind of bubbly crema like substance. There's none of that here. There's also way more coffee than I would anticipate for like an espresso shot, but we're gonna try it. Uh, <laughs> No. Nope. Nope. 
<laughs> Literally, no. Let me try it. I'll let you try this hot. I know you don't really like my strong brand of coffee or espresso, but let's see. Absolutely not. What do you think? It's like dirt. It's like literally like dirt. Literally dirt? Like too strong like dirt? <laughs> Let me try it again. Like like literally you, you put some dirt in there. Yeah. Mm, too strong. I don't like that at all. Do you want to try your iced Americano version? I don't think it's going to be any good. I agree. Nothing is good. That didn't work. YouTube lied. YouTube lied to us. False advertising, YouTube. We would like to sue you for $700,000 care of most important meal 123 Neufchatel Street anywhere USA 12345 you could, that's where you can send your check YouTube don't talk to me or my son ever again what you have a son thanks for watching <laughs>